Hey everybody, I'm going to walk through some text-to-speech tools. I'm going to start out with the one that I use, and I pay for it because I think it sounds the best. And uh, Eleven Labs is the tool of my choice. In my opinion, so far, right now, they do the best job of having realistic-sounding voices that are interesting to listen to as well, and they interpret the words that you're saying in more than just an automatic kind of sounding way. So there's some true AI at work. And so I've got a sentence here and I'm going to do it in a variety of different tools. And we'll start with 11 labs and listen to that one first, but we'll start out with Anthony. Here we go. The bass was thumping everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks shouting. What do you want? Over and over. Fricking awesome. So in there, you can hear the AI doing some things that not all of these tools will do. Appropriately shortening words, stretching out the woo. It's hard to get inflection the way that you might want to have it for, if it was a human actor. But just having it stretch out the word is a win with some of these tools. Understanding illist, being able to say what do you for that word. And then freaking awesome being inflected close to the way I want it. So let's try Adam. The bass was thumping. Everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it. Dropping the illest tracks. Shouting, what do you want? Over and over. Frickin' awesome. Yeah, that was a pretty good one. Let's try one of the female voices. Let's just go for the very first one. Bella. The bass was thumping. Everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it. Dropping the illest tracks. Shouting, what do you want? Over and over. Frickin' awesome. And one last female voice do this one, Rachel. The bass was thumping. Everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting, what do you want? Over and over. Frickin' awesome. Yeah, so she wasn't very excited, but she still got all of the inflections and pronunciations correct. So, Eleven Labs is the one that I think does the best job right now, even though it doesn't have all the bells and whistles of organizational tools and the ability to create dialogues yet. I'm going to switch over to Mike Monster, which I've been getting so many freaking ads for. I'm using the first voice they give you for these demos, assuming that they would choose their best to start with. So here's Mike Monster, the future of voiceover. I think they're full of shit, but here we go. The bass was thumping, everybody going woo-woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the eyeless tracks, shouting what do you want, over and over. Frickin' awesome. Oh, oh so bad. It's just terrible. We'll try a male voice, Brandon. The bass was thumping, everybody going woo-woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the eyeless tracks, shouting what do you want, over and over. Frickin' awesome. Just terrible. Now, maybe if you get into Mike Monster, they have some tools where you can enter meta characters or instructions to create a more realistic voiceover. All right, I'll try Amazon Polly. The bass was thumping, everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting what do you want? Over and over. Freaking awesome. There's a kind of static or white noise in the voice that's generated. That it sounds lower fidelity. Let's try a male. The bass was yep. thumping. Everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. Oh, DJ yeah. was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting what do you want? Over and over. Frickin' awesome. All right. So they have standard and neural. So this is obviously the lower fidelity versions. I hope it's super cheap to generate these via an API. Maybe the neural ones are better because it does say the most natural and human-like speech possible. So let's see what one of the neural voices sounds like. Let's just do Joanna, which sounded like crap in the non-neural. The bass was thumping, everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting what do you want? Over and over. Freaking awesome. All right, let's see what the standard version sounds like. The bass was thumping, everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it. The bass was thumping, everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it. Let's try a different voice. You can definitely hear a difference. We'll try Matthew. The bass was thumping, 
Everybody go and woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting what do you want? Over and over. Frickin' awesome. Definitely a lot of artifacts in the audio. Let's try neural. The bass was thumping, everybody go and woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting what do you want? Over and over. Frickin' awesome. So the audio artifacts are gone. It's a little bit more clear. It was really fast. Um, you notice the other ones, he has to sit there for a while. But if I switch to Justin and hit listen. The bass was thumping. Everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting what do you want? Over and over. Freaking awesome. I don't know what's up with Justin, but it was super fast. We'll switch to Ivy. The bass was thumping. Everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting what do you want? Over and over. Freaking awesome. So, customized pronunciation. There's the ability to add a lexicon, so maybe it's getting the bass was thumping, so it knows what happens if I change the bass to the bass was flip-flopping. Will it think it's a, a fish? The bass was flip-flopping. Every... Now it should think it's a fish. The bass was flip-flopping, gasping for air having just been dragged into the boat. Okay, what do I got to do to make it? I caught a fish, a bass. The bass was flip-flopping. I caught a fish, a bass. The bass was flip-flopping, gasping for air having just been dragged into... So let's try a different voice. Maybe it'll process it. I caught a fish, a bass. You are going to have to put some work in to make it do what you want because it thinks the letters B-A-S-S -S are always a bass and never a bass. Even 11 labs isn't perfect in the bass-bass bait. We caught some fish. Oh, you want to know what kind of fish? Largemouth bass. The best kind of bass. I guess some people pronounce it bass, but I say bass. <laughs> so let's jump over to Murph. Here we go with Nate. The bass was thumping, everybody going woo-woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the eyeless tracks, shouting what do you want, over and over. Freaking awesome. So same problems, might be using the same engine as Mike Monster. They give us three options, so we'll try them all. Do Ethan. The bass was thumping, everybody going woo-woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the eyeless tracks, shouting what do you want, over and over. Frickin' awesome. I like the tone of voice, but killing it. What's up with that? Unacceptable. <laughs> a hazel. Let's see. It'll the bass was thumping. Down. Everybody going woah oh at the end of every phrase. <laughs> DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting where do you want? Over and over. Frickin' awesome. <laughs> A lot of these services will tout how many voices they offer and how many languages and accents. 120 plus. Why do I give a shit if you have 600 terrible voices to choose from? Anyway, so there's Murph. Natural reader. The bass was thumping, everybody going woo-woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the eyeless tracks, shouting what do you want over and over. Freaking awesome. The AI... Pronunciation and inflection generation is really not good. There's a whole bunch of other ones here. I've heard this voice on multiple services, which makes me think, of course, that they're all using the same engine under the hood and trying to wrap it in different tools, which Natural Reader is pretty sparse in that. So let's hear Anna, the child voice, saying this sentence. The bass was thumping, everybody going pull at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the eyeless tracks, shouting, what do you want, over and over. Freaking awesome. I've made some stories for my kid with this voice, and he enjoyed them. Of course, he's sick, so he's not very critical about stuff. Let's just try Jane. The bass was thumping, everybody going woo-woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the eyeless tracks, Shouting what do you want over and over. Freaking awesome. They're going to use this voice for the most boring 
most tedious, least interesting content that they can possibly put in front of their poor employees who are forced to be there. And if you sound boring saying this sentence, how boring are you going to sound if you're saying phrases from your HR handbook? Also, naturalreader.com is a, is apparently squatted. So naturalreaders.com is where this company lives online, which I, I find that just flabbergasting. Why on earth would you do that to yourself? We're going to go over to this one, Jenny, I think it's pronounced, which is a product of Lovo or Lovo. Down at the bottom, they have this timeline that you can swap the speakers out with. That is a feature that I think is really great. So you can make podcasts or stories and have different characters saying different things. I think that's fantastic. I want Eleven Labs to have that. May, what do you sound like? The bass was thumping everybody going woo-woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting, what do you want? Over and over. Freaking awesome. That is the second best that we've had so far, even though it did say bass instead of bass, which indicates that it's not doing any LLM processing of the rest of the sentence to realize that it's talking about music and not fish. But not bad, not bad. Although the quality, the fidelity of the voice was quite low and not really acceptable. Let's try a different voice. Oh, they have like emotional voices, global voices, collectible voices. Connect your wallet to use the NFT voices you own. Okay, so that's bullshit. Global voices. Okay, those are people with non-American accents, obviously, because there's Great Bitten. Global voice. I don't know why that's global voice. Emotional voices. Premium voices, I assume. May is one of the premium voices. I was not all that premium, although maybe that's maybe they mean the inflections. Let's try Sean. The bass was thumping everybody, going woo-woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting, what do you want? Over and over. Frickin' awesome. Obviously doesn't understand what the hell these sentences are about. But maybe you can fix that with some instructions or meta tags or something like that. I would have hope. I would actually try this and get a little bit deeper in it before I would think that it was unusable. However, if I couldn't get the voices to sound closer to what I get from Eleven Labs, then I would not choose this tool. So anyway, Jenny, not too bad. I don't have one of those charts that shows you like the, the difference, <laughs> the ones that I think are awesome, the ones that I think are bad, because most of them are shit. So right now we've got Eleven Labs and we've got this Jenny thing. Veed. This one is a little bit more focused on video. Maybe video. It does have this thing when you start, when you first get in, it asks you, are you how good are you at video editing? And I'm like, pretty good, but that doesn't matter because I just want to hear the text preview of this Jenny voice saying the sentences. The bass was thumping. Everybody going woo-woo. Okay, so the preview is only going to give me a little bit of it. So woo-woo, and it all already sounds pretty flat. So let's see what it sounds, how it does the next little bit. DJ was killing it, dropping the Eyeless tracks, show. Show. Eyeless, so they're using the same engine underneath as those others, and that's not acceptable. Goodbye to Veed. Uh, play HT, play.ht, I've heard before. It's one of the one of those that comes up routinely when you do a search for text-to-speech. All right, here we go, Larry. The boss was thumping. Oh, God. Everybody going woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting, why do you want? Over and over. Freaking awesome. Okay, so I put it number, I put it third. It's a little bit low fidelity. Maybe that's just the preview and the actual generated content would sound better. But, eh, okay, I guess. It's still not really good enough. Play that HT. The shallowest test possible gets a failing grade. Well said, Labs. All right, Ramona, what do you sound like? The bass was thumping. Everybody going woo-woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting, what do you want? Over and over, freaking awesome. Oh, I can do styles. Let's see what she sounds like in promo version. Say bass. Come on, just say bass. That's all I want you to do is say bass. 
The bass was thumping. Ugh. Everybody going woo woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting, What do you want? over and over. Freaking awesome. Okay, we'll try Wade. The bass was thumping, everybody going woo woo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it, dropping the illest tracks, shouting, What do you want? over and over. Freaking awesome. So they have different voices with different speaking styles that you can choose from to can be somewhat subtle in the differences, but... The bass was thumping. Everybody going moo-goo at the end of every phrase. DJ was killing it. Dropping the illest tracks. Shouting, what do you want? Over and over. Freaking awesome. All right. So, well said, Labs. It's not coming off very well, especially compared to uh, 11 Labs. So, um, that's a kind of a, an, a very brief audit of text-to-speech tools. There is a lot more. A lot of them seem to use the same engine. If you go to a website of a text-to-speech tool, and it's one of those websites that just scrolls and scrolls, and it seems to be like six feet long before you get to the end where it tells you how much the thing costs and where to sign up, that is going to be a bad tool. There are free options out there, but the free leg of the stool is usually accompanied by the uh, lots of work leg of the stool in order to get the quality leg of the stool. So cheap, easy, and good are the three legs of our text-to-speech stool. You can pick two. So there you have it. Thanks, everybody. You stay you.